Hello guys, Legend of Always here once again. Hey, episode 24 to 43, what I've seen so far. Still on the East Blue art, baby. So, villains, 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 villains. <laughs> the villains right now, hey, so we've still got Don Krieg. You know what I'm saying? Still got to deal with Don Krieg as uh, Luffy. Had a long, long fight with uh, Don Krieg, and uh, to be to be honest, to my knowledge, I think it's the, the legit, uh, legit times like he was like legit hurt this bad, and it was um through Don Krieg. He's like technically like the strongest villain he's faced so far because Buggy was kind of whatever at that point. Um. Buggy was obviously had the chop chop, yeah, the, the devil fruit, but it wasn't very strong. It was just very cunning. But Don Krieg is like strong and cunning. He's both. <laughs> this guy is using every means necessary to stop Luffy and his crew and take over, you know what I'm saying? The restaurant. Zeph's little restaurant. So, um, Sanji helps out um, Luffy. Hey, Sanji. To be honest, he's he's my new favorite character, yo. He was, at first it was Zoro, but now, now Sanji's my guy now, bro. But I've seen him from 24 to 43, Sanji's my guy, bro. He's my guy. Zoro is a special place in my heart, you know what I'm saying? I love Zoro, but Sanji is that guy. He's that dude, bro. Sanji is that dude. Um, but yeah, um, Nami even be, literally betrays me at one point. I was like, what the heck is this dummy out here betraying people? But we're we, we, we gonna go go this shit. We go we stay on Don Creek. We stay on Don Creek. Um Don Creek and his uh guy Gein. Um Gein is uh pretty strong himself. At first I thought he was just like a, an underling, like someone was like really weak. But then that was a good swerve because he came out with these two night sticks. I don't know what the heck is that? <laughs> what the heck? I like he drew for the night sticks and then he was just like bodying Sanji for a bit. I was like, oh snap. Ugh. Um But um they they have a face off, then Luffy and Don Krieg obviously they're facing off with his flipping Don Krieg releases a toxic gas, a nuclear bomb. <laughs> this guy out here legit sent a nuclear bomb and biological warfare out here. Trying to poison everyone in sight, like his crew had gas masks. Um, he even throws one to Gein, but Gein throws it to um, to Luffy. And I was like, oh snap. I was like, okay. I was like, oh. So I was like, what the heck? No, no, yeah, because he throws one to Luffy and then gives one to Sanji. So I was like, okay. I was like, all right, okay. So, but Gein has like a, a moral compass because of what Sanji and Zeph and the, the cooks, the chefs, did did for Gein because they helped him out, especially Sanji. Um, but then um, in this arc as well, we know how strong Zeph was, his um, the, the head chef, um, who the leader of this restaurant. This guy's leg was pop. This guy was OP. His leg strikes were OP. This guy would have been taking on ships, but it was just his legs. <laughs> this guy was OP. This is where Sanji got his training from. The Iron Leg himself. Zeph, so. The pirate leader, bro. The, 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 the leg king. Never skip leg day. But, um, yeah. Um, Sanji um, gets a W at some point, you know what I'm saying? Takes down Gein um, with his heart, you know? <laughs> um, Nam as I said before, Nami, she took the um, flipping... Merry ship to go back to, um, to go find Arlong, this um villain that's the last villain that I saw so far. Um, it's called the Arlong Park uh, arc. So it's still part of East Blue, which is the overall arc, but this is the Arlong Park arc, the mini arc. And um, yeah, he's like this mad fishman villain, but um. Before we go to 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 Arlon, um and Nami's backstory, we um, get Don Creed being finally defeated by Luffy, 
um, by him just persevering through all these tactics. This guy had a flipping um, spiked um, cape. He had, he had biological bombs. This guy over here had rocket lord. This guy was going crazy, bro. This guy had like, <laughs> this guy was, it was, it was, it was hilarious. But, um, but yeah, I forgot, I forgot how Hawk was part of this arc as well. Hawk, yeah, Hawkeye. Yes, here we go. Dracul Hawkeye, aka Dracula. He was, um, someone who Zoro was looking for. Um, he had a little face off with um Zoro who was um, um with um but who was OP. Hawkeye is OP. This guy's sword took apart and, and the whole Don Creed ship with one move. I was like, oh <laughs> he's basically was me this savage from the um what do you call it? From the Grand Line. This monster. This guy followed Don Creed all the way <laughs> to the restaurant, to the very restaurant, bro. I was like, oh like, wow, this guy followed him all the way from the Grand Line. That was crazy. But um, yeah, he had a little face off. He had this little dagger that he, he took down Zoro with. I was like, but then Hawk gained respect for him, and he said, basically, just saying, "Hey, next time we're gonna do this properly. Just get stronger, bro." Like, basically, it's what he said. But then that was the end of Hawk. So Hawk was in there for a little brief, like, couple of episodes, and that was it. Just to display his power and how Zoro is the that's Zoro's goal to stop Hawk. So yeah, as I said before, Don Creek gets defeated. By Luffy, hard fought battle. He was bleeding. I was like, first time you see legit, see Luffy bleeding like crazy. Um, um, and then we obviously want to get to um Arlong now, Arlong Park arc. We get to um, the, as um, I'm back would say in um, Black Panther to this this fish man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so <laughs> this guy, this crow crew, is taking over this this area, this island, and he gets all the money from these people who he is like basically enslaved at this point. <laughs> this point and he just he gets times from these people. Um basically pay him they pay him rent <laughs> just to live there. I was like this guy's savage. But before he even takes over this place, there's a backstory of like Nami um, who has a foster mum um who was an ex a marine turn mother and she had um two daughters both adopted um both orphans um but she gets killed herself by Arlo who Nami is in servitude to because she wants to pay off the debt of Arlo Arlong Park well Arlo Park to Arlo himself so I was like oh my god what this is crazy. I was like, the heck, because she's saving up with that. I think she had to have 100 berries, 100 million berries to, yeah, to pay off the debt of the town. So Arlong would literally leave, he would leave. But as you know, these villains, they don't stick to their word. Nami even got betrayed. Um, and there was a whole thing, like, literally everyone had their own little plot yeah flipping um Us Usopp versus that flipping guy with the big lips that fish man with the big lips <laughs> that guy's big lip but Us Usopp took him down at some point which which was awesome um Zoro took down the squid man took him down free sword style Sanji took against this karate expert fish man um underwater battle was awesome I love that the Sanji fight was awesome um and Luffy just destroyed this this um the, the house of Arlong uh, where Nami was staying at doing all these navigations because that's why um Arlong has Nami because she's great at navigating and she has all these maps of the ocean and he wanted to keep her like literally forever he didn't want to let her go he wanted to keep her in servitude forever until she died of old age um but Luffy gave her gave him the foot of God. <laughs> It was seeing Kung Fu Hustle, bro, the hand of God basically just come down just with a massive hand in, in the from the earth's core. That's basically what Luffy did to um Arlong, just give him that foot of guard, bro. Just that foot just stuck his foot right there and just level this entire building. And then Arlong was just crushed underneath. And then he, he defeated him. But um there's so much moving parts in um, the Arlong art because you had 
the corruption of the Marines, there's little the storylines going on, subplots that's going to probably come into play later on because this guy who's in charge of the Marines, who he was taking payment from Arlong because Arlong was paying him so he could like literally over, over, overlook what Arlong was doing in this town. And how he's taking off all these different places because he's working with the cops. It's this marine police, so he he literally <laughs> he literally gets um beat up by Luffy and his crew. Um, and he he's the one who literally puts the um reward out to take down Luffy and his squad. But basically, he's got the picture of Luffy as like villain number one. Like, hey, this is the guy the Marines have to take down. He's a, the number one villain. <laughs> so that's that's how you get the the wanted poster from Luffy is because of this guy, of this arc. So yeah, man. Um, I love this. Hey, One Piece is tight. One Piece is tight, bro. It took me a while to get into this show, hey, but I did it. I did it. Um, I did it after all these years. I've done it. I've started to watch a significant amount of One Piece. I'm gonna keep going. Yes, I will do so. Um, anyways, put your comments, comment section down below. I'm out. Peace.